Hey there guys, Sting right here, back here with another video request. Today's video request will be comparing the three WWE World Titles, the Spinner Belt, the World T Heavyweight Championship, and the ECW uh, Championship. This uh, video was requested by Lorenzo, I believe it was. I forgot the numbers after that, but yeah, he requested this video. And um, I know somebody asked me to compare the uh, Undisputed World Title to the uh, spinner belt, but I can't do that because I don't no longer have the uh, undisputed belt. I sold it if you followed my videos. Uh, I sold it for the ECW belt because I wanted to get that autographed by Christian. And um, I say it was a good trade because I didn't really care for the undisputed that much at all. I mean, I liked it in the beginning, but then it just like got old because I mean it was huge. I mean there was nothing you could do with it um, because it was huge. So I think like the ECW is a better size. It's not as big as the undisputed, and it's much better. So, um, we'll be comparing those today, and a couple more things, I hope you guys enjoyed XPWF Voltage on Thursday, it was a one great match, uh, the world title match will be coming next Thursday, and, um, check out Stingray809, that other channel, my other, my other channel, basically, uh, that channel's for parodies and stuff, other parodies are on their way, I have so many planned, they're gonna be funny, that channel's gonna be huge, that is the next biggest thing right there, so check out Stingray809, subscribe to it, you're not gonna wanna miss a thing, because those parodies and the video logs are gonna be amazing, and, uh, we'll get to the comparison right now, alright guys, so here we are, we got the ECW, we got the World Heavyweight, and we've got the spinner belt. Uh, what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be just, we're just going to do a comparison on these three. We're not going to be putting them on my shoulders because I already did that multiple times. And, um, yeah, it's, it'll, it'll be kind of repetitive. So, I'd rather do it this way and just show you guys about this. Alright, so, um, as you know, that's autographed by Christian. Uh, that one is just the most flexible one out of all the three. I must say that. And the spinner belt... The reason why it's so uh, light, it's not as gold as this is. Uh, this is the original color, by the way, the, the color of the nameplate. Um, the reason why it's like that is because if you watch the bucket effect video, I stuck the whole belt into the there, the plates and all, and the plates faded. So now they're uh, a little less goldish. So, uh, but in person, it looks really cool. It really does. I'm not gonna lie. But um, uh, the camera doesn't do justice because this um, belt is not as um gold as it as it is but it's just a little less gold it's not like full silver like this it's just um a little less gold i mean it looks awesome it looks more like a v3 because the plates are the plates weren't as gold as the regular regular um spinner belt <clears throat> so um we're just going to compare the strap sizes right now as you can see, the ECW is way wider and longer than all three of these. I mean, then yeah, than all th two of them. Very big strap on the ECW belt. Um, the world title strap is the smallest. It looks like it on the sides. It's the most uh, skinniest. Uh, you got the plate sizes right here. The ECW, of course, is the longest plate of them all. Uh, the world title is the tallest. And, um... The reason why the ECW belt is uh, so long is because it doesn't have a curve on it. If it had a curve on it, it would probably be the size of the world title. Alright. So, um... What we're going to be doing here, we're just going to compare these... This The ECW belt has five plates on it. The world title has three, and this one has five. Um, on the strap, well... One more thing, the world title is the shortest, uh, has the shortest strap of all of them. That's another thing. Uh, it does have a gold tip on it. That does have a silver tip on it, which fits perfectly with that. Looks amazing. Uh, they do sell a, a silver tip for this. I wasn't sure if I was going to get it because it's 50 bucks. I'm not sure if I want to blow 50 bucks on that. Not worth it. I saved the money. I bought this HD camcorder, which is much more worth it. Uh, so, got to cover that hole on there. Going to get to that soon. It's got a Kalzer nameplate. Kalzer likes that, of course. Um, here we got the blank nameplate because um, Gorilla won the world title and we don't have a Gorilla nameplate in XBWF, so that's the one that we use. This one has a Stingray nameplate. I have a Stingray nameplate for all these belts except for this one. Um, yeah, for my United States title, I have a Stingray nameplate. For that one, I have a Stingray nameplate. For the world title, I have a Stingray nameplate. And... Um, 
I should buy, if we ever get like a partnership or something, I'm gonna get like a, the nameplates of everybody in XBWF, probably, so we can have them on the belt, we'll make it look cool. Um, so let's do the, sh the strap buttons, we'll compare, uh, we get three, five, seven, we've got 14 on this side, on this side we have 14, uh, even on both sides of this, and here you have 10, on there you have 16 on the world title. So you got 10, 16. There you got 10, and there you got uh, 16 again. So the world title and the WWE spinner belt both have the same amount of buttons, whereas this one has 14 and 14, where it has two more than the other two. The other two in total have uh, 20, yeah, 26 um, buttons, all of them. And this one is, has a total of 28. So that's why it's a little longer, I would, I would assume, and it's wider. Very much detail on this belt. Watch any video that you see on this uh, ECW belt, especially uh, Sourcey90. He'll tell you how, um, how detailed this belt is. Very much, uh, very deep etching, very explosive letters, very, very, like, m very much like Ultra Deluxe. That's all I have to say. Um, this one was two millimeter thick. Most flexible belt I have. I'll show you the flexibility of it right now. And um, it's just like real leather. Just like real leather. But it's on a simulated leather strap, so it's not going to crack. Um, it came like this when I bought it off eBay. I was just like, it does, does every belt come like this? Does every belt, um, is as flexible as this? And then when I bought the, when I got this for Christmas, I found out. No, it's not. Well, this did have a, sh a crappy commemorative strap at the time. And, um, I changed it to a real adult strap, which is, uh, thicker. See, this one is the commemorative strap. See, it's got the same texture on the back. Whereas on this one, it has a different texture. Um, so yeah, I was thinking, like, is every belt that flexible? And then when I got, um, like, the, my other United States title, and I got the U.S. spinner, and those two metal ones, I was like, wow, they're not as flexible as that. But then when I found out to do the bucket effect and the re-screwing job, I did it to the United States title, and it came out just like that, and so did the U.S. spinner. So I could do that with the U.S. spinner and the, um, United States title only because of the bucket effect and the re-screwing. So yeah, I made up those two things. I know somebody tried to steal it already. Like, what a noob. Um, I hear you got a lot of WWE logos. WWE, WWE, WWE spinner belt. Left the magnet in here. Half a magnet to be exact. So it doesn't make any noise when it spins. Uh, very nice with the black logo. The red one kind of got old after a while. But this never gets old. I can guarantee you that. Um, how I painted this, some people ask. Well, I painted it with um, black uh, permanent marker, basically. Very easy. But you got to be very, very careful if you do it with permanent marker. Because it's very hard to get out. Well, you actually can't get it out. I mean, I had to go over it with something else. But I messed up on one part. But you can't even see it. so Because I covered it up. Um, but yeah, that, that is a commemorative. This is adult metal. metal. And this one it has a metal center plate and plastic side plates. It's commemorative. Um, needs a curve badly, but it's really hard, like I said, because it's uh, the plates are so thick. Um, what else are we going to talk about on here? Um, well, that's basically about it. I mean, there's nothing much to compare with these. Because um, I already did it on my shoulders and everything, so if you want to see it, just... Just uh, check out those other videos. Um, so now I guess I'll just talk a little bit about something for before we run out of time. Um, if you have any video requests that you want to see, just send me a message or post a comment to my profile. I'll be more than happy to do a video request for you. Um, it doesn't have to be about belts. It could be about anything that you've ever wanted to see. It could be a comparison of two video game systems. It could be a comparison about... Um, it doesn't have to be a comparison video anyway. It could be about anything. Like, you want to see something in depth? I'll do it. You want to see something um, close up? I can do it. And um, don't forget, check out uh, Stingray809. That channel is really... Um, I can't stress that enough. It, got, it already got a award on it. And it says uh, number 82 most subscribed to person for the week. 
And uh, that was really cool. I didn't expect that. Um, hopefully, if I don't get a partnership on this account, I can get it on the other account because the other account will have more pa will have parodies and stuff. It's gonna bring it up to new heights. I can guarantee you that. Uh, maybe even to places where XBWF hasn't even reached. So um, if you if you haven't checked that out, please check that out. It's really awesome. I, I can guarantee you won't be disappointed with any videos that you see on that channel. And um, well, that's about it. If you have any video requests, like I said. Um, send me a message. And, um, that's about it. So, see you guys later. And, um, don't forget, XBWF Voltage took place this Thursday. And, um, next week, XBWF Voltage will be continuing in part four, which will be the world title no disqualification match between Gorilla and Kalzor. That match is going to be explosive, and it is for the world heavyweight championship.